Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to the general monthly reading, November's general monthly reading for, what sign is it? Oh, Leo. Oh my goodness, Leo. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Blanked out for a moment. Okay. I'm back. All right. So, and, um, I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. And Leo's, if you don't already know, my book is now available and it's titled My Life Journey and True Ancient Astrology. So if you are interested, send me an email at thecreativewoman369 at gmail.com. Also, if any of you are interested in a private reading and would like me to send you my list, send me an email again at thecreativewoman369 at gmail.com. And all of my information is always in the drop down box below this video and all of my videos. Okay, so Leo, let's quickly go through the transiting planets. So first, the full moon is going to be on the 8th of November, and that is going to be 16 degrees Taurus. And it's a big deal because it is conjunct to transiting Uranus in Taurus and the transiting North Node in Taurus. And it's all close conjunct, uh, a close conjunction. Again, very important, especially if you have any natal planets in Taurus or opposition to Taurus, which would be Scorpio or square which would be anything in your sign, Leo, or Aquarius. All right. The new moon, the next new moon, will be on the 23rd of November, and that will be 1 degree Sagittarius, 38 seconds. Saturn, still in Aquarius, which opposes your sign, Leo, and it's 18 degrees the first part of November, and then 19 degrees the rest of the month. Pluto is still 26 degrees, Capricorn, and will remain so all month long. And then we do have Mars in Gemini, and that is going to square Jupiter in Pisces and Neptune in Pisces. And that will be squared most of the month. Okay, so let's get into your reading, Leo. And like always, if this monthly reading isn't right for you, that's perfectly okay because your natal wheel and the planets and then the transiting planets that are hitting your natal wheel are always going to be unique. And so you want to take a look at your moon sign, your rising sign, and your north or south nodes of the moon as well. And even a combination of all of them. Wow, look at this. You're the only sign so far, and I am on, I'm almost through, I have just two more signs after you that have received three of these cards from my animal, the Ark, Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, Leo. You have the Warthog, which is the Two of Cups. Perfect harmony, sacred union, mutual attraction. Ah. Okay. So look at that. That's beautiful. All right. Then you have the Condor, which is the King of Swords. Truth. Final authority, brilliant mind. Look at that. You're standing in your power is what I'm getting with that one.
and you're moving forward in the direction that you choose to go. And then last but not least, the B, which is the wheel of fortune. It's turning in your favor. Lack, life cycles, major karmic events. So you are working through some or have worked through a major karmic event for you in your life. And now the wheel of fortune is in your favor. Like again, with the condor or the king of swords, you're moving forward in your life. You are courageous. You know what, where you're going and you're very confident and you are very in control of who you are. And again, where you're going, where you choose consciously to go for yourself. And the Two of Cups, another could be joining you on your path now because you're ready. You're ready. And you blend very harmoniously together. I was drawn again to to perfect harmony and then sacred union. This is a very special, special person for you, whether it's a friend, romantic, partner, uh, it is, or even business. It's very, very uniquely special and harmonious and compatible. Okay, so let's, all right, let's be drawn to get one of these cards from my soul deck for Leo's sun rising north or south nodes of the moon. And I just am drawn to with three cards that the number three could be very significant for you as a sign or synchronicity to what is happening for you this month. So I'm getting some of you, maybe you were born in March. Or I'm even getting maybe your ascendant is a Pisces, Pisces or Aries, if you were born in March. Okay. What else for Leah? There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, Leo, another zodiac sign this month got this same card. So if you're, you are, happen to be watching another monthly reading of mine for November and this card comes out, this is doubly, it's a double confirmation for you. Double confirmation. Okay, so let me take a look and see what I get specifically for you Leos with this card. Something is coming in for you is what I just got. So generally that, yes, you're receiving something. You've been asking for something. You've been hoping for something. You've been um, meditating on something, uh, a desire of yours. And from the universe, it's coming from the universe. So again, it's about receiving receiving. And so that's generally what I received that information, the same information from the other zodiac sign that got this card as well. So we'll see what, and it's communication it has to do with communication. I'm drawn to the blue and then the red in this card, the color red, very, very, um, oh, sacred, sacred, the word sacred. That's uh, uh, absolutely could be true, but also security and stable, very stabilizing for you. So I'm getting, it's a hope, a dream, a wish that is coming true. Okay, let's see now. Let's get some tarot cards and see what else comes out for you, my mighty Leos. Mighty, courageous, brave, spirited Leos. Okay, so let's see what, okay. Queen of Pentacles. 
again, the Queen of Pentacles came out too in another reading, and I don't know, know if it was the same one with this card as well. But again, if you're watching, in fact, I believe that I'm showing this card in the original picture. So again, if it's the same as this or if it's different, it's another confirmation. This read that this reading is and this the other reading or readings are definitely well you will find some bit of news in, essential for you to hear. Okay, Leo's. So let's see. So the Queen of Pentacles, yes, so um, you've either healed or you're healing and you're receiving, you are receiving abundance of some kind or you are also just within yourself. You are feeling that abundance and that peace and harmony within yourself and with all living beings. Just that general harmony and balance. Yeah, you've put to death something and I was drawn to the phoenix. There's that phoenix. And so you are rising like the phoenix in some way, Leo's this month. You're having a rebirth. You're having a transformation. You're transforming into something new and you're seeing it come true in your physical world, in your physical world. Because you've transformed something inside yourself. And now it's showing up this month in the physical world. Now, I'm also drawn to the moons, so it could definitely be around this eclipse time. And again, it could have started uh, just a couple days ago on the 25th, which was the new moon in Scorpio. And or the, uh, excuse me, the lunar eclipse, which is going to be the full moon. In November which will be on the 8th of November so anytime in between those two two days or even four days before and four days after and I'm even getting the whole month of uh, November for some of you yes Knight of Pentacles so you have two Pentacles some type of abundance and it's going to feel very magical and I just drawn to the dragonfly and then his crown chakra, there's igniting in the crown chakra for this night. And so, yes, it's something very exciting for you. You're very passionate about. It's like a dream come true for some of you. I just got wish upon a star. I don't know what that means, but maybe you've literally, some of you uh, have been wishing on, you know, you saw a shooting star or just in the night sky, in the stars, you've been wishing upon a star for yourself. I just also got a star is born. So you're really taking, um, Leo anyway, naturally you are, um, a natural when it comes to being in the limelight, being on stage and being, um, listened to and watched. And I'm just getting that you're really in command of yourself this month. And that's what's happening. You are on stage and you are just taking that stage and, and uh, being applauded. You're just, you have an audience and they are listening. They are listening and they are watching very intently on you in some way, shape or form, Leo's. Yeah, your energy is just booming. You're just blasting out your energy. That's what I'm getting with this two of wands. So, and then the sun card. Yes, again, you are being highlighted in some way. You are being shined upon. And I just see the picture of you being on stage and you are being watched. Those bright lights on you, the sun on you, that light is on you. And... So, because you have something to say, you have something to share, and you are very courageous, very at home with who you are and what you are speaking about or what you are sharing, whatever that is. And 
you're very abundant, whether it's abundant in this knowledge that you're sharing, abundant with what you're sharing, you are just maybe generally seen as being abundant and also you are receiving abundance. So abundant, I just got abundant of accolades, abundance of accolades coming to you, abundance of being showered with gifts, being showered with applause, audience, a huge audience. So maybe you're reaching a lot of people. So you could be on social media. Very, very powerful is what I'm getting. This is a very powerful month for you, Leos. Absolutely. You are on fire. You are on fire. Your energy, your high energy as well. And what you're sharing is very, you are, you are able to share this and just automatically sharing it very passionately because it's something that you are passionate about and compassionate about. Okay, wow, that's beautiful. I'm going to see if I can get some more details about this Two of Wands. Possibly, what is it that you're compassionate about? What are you sharing? What... What has got your attention and what have, how others are, you are receiving or you have their attention. Okay, so let's see. Let me get some more details about this Two of Wands for Leo, please. Two of Wands. I'm also getting some of you could also have other than just Leo fire in you. You could have Aries or Sagittarius as well. Okay. What else for Leo? Sun, moon, rising. I'm also getting some of you could have Aquarius in your chart as well. But you don't have to. It's just a side message for someone or some of you. Okay. What else for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. But in any case, I'm getting moon, moon energy, whatever you, whatever you're sharing, you are passionate and you are emotionally expressing this very passionately, very strong emotions and compassion is high that you're sharing whatever this is this month. And it's assisting, it's assisting others. Again, yeah, that compassion, that what you have to share is potent. It's potent and it's necessary and very needed, very much needed in this world or with who you are sharing them from or with, excuse me. Okay, so what else? Can you give some more details, please? Yeah, you could have Aries hot, prominent in your chart. Maybe it's in your midheaven. It could be your ascendant. Maybe it could be your sun for some of you. Your moon. Okay, let me see what that, okay. Now this is definitely your work, your passion, your purpose, um, eight of pentacles. This is the eight of pentacles and you're rising again. That's just confirmation to me. So whatever sphere you are in, whatever specialty, uh, whatever your sole purpose is, you're on track and you are really moving up this month in that area. Maybe it's a product, maybe it's information you're sharing. Whatever it is. And justice card. See, so where it is stagnant, where it's been stagnant, where you have um, felt unjust in this area, you're now receiving justice. It's now coming in. So whatever you've been working on, you have paid attention to those details and you've continued to go ahead and just keep going and so now it's paying off this month, whatever this is, 
justice is coming in and you will see the reper oh, okay repercussions but also i wanted to say uh res reciprocity for what you've been working on what you've been working hard and putting your energy into and your passionate compassionate energy into you are seeing results this month okay Okay, so let's now let's get a little more of what we're going to see from you. Leo's very high vibrational energy, very high energy, excited, excited, again, passionate energy. That's fire. And that's who you are anyway. And then it's just even more extreme if you have Aries, like I mentioned in your chart also, you could be mostly fire I'm getting for someone or some of you. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, you are really standing in your power this month. You're standing in your power, expressing yourself. You're, you're getting the attention, you're gathering. I'm getting, you're gathering people. People are really, really interested and attentive and listening to what you are saying because it is something important or what you are, are the service you're providing or the product you're providing is very, very much needed and even shocking. It is even, it's awakening people. It's, it's, they are being being awakened they are becoming alert and aware consciously aware where they weren't before that's awesome that's awesome in some important area so you're doing something essential potential yes look at it's very explosive your potential it's and this month it's exploding again that's what i've been getting is is it's really you are really igniting that fire and I'm just seeing a large you're reaching a large audience people where they weren't listening to you before you have their attention this month you have their attention they are all eyes focused on you and what you're saying what you're what you're um, um, presenting and it's exploding farther and it's farther reaching is that more <laughs> you are reaching farther than you can imagine it's just exploding it's igniting and it's happening very fast and so it could even be surprising to you how fast and far reaching that what you're doing um, will go or has gone adventures yes it's, it's just flowing this month like a waterfall so it's not just flowing it's gushing like a waterfall this energy of yours this information this product this whatever it is you and it's taking you into brand new adventures uh, yes new adventures new beautiful adventures new exciting adventures and you are assisting others also in opening up whatever whatever this is you are opening their minds you are opening their hearts you are opening their spirits you are awakening them in a big way leo again this is a general reading so you put that in your situation, but it is big. You are big this month. Okay. Wow. Very exciting. Very exciting. Very explosive. Again, I'm just, that's the energy. It's just, that's wand energy. Very powerful, passionate, strong. Okay. So let's see, is there anything else? 
I'm really, again, these readings this month are not as long as they have been. So it's just boom, <laughs> the information, I'm giving it to you. You're running with it. It's, it's out. You're, you're ready to go. So I don't see anything else or feel anything else that is needed need to be said or needed to be found out for you Leo's you just you're right spot on this month and you'll see you'll see it come into fruition in physical form with the Queen of Pentacles so that is terrific that is awesome and I'm so excited for you so that's all I have for you this month until next time